The National Garifunic Council's 32nd Annual Convention begins today in Libertad Village in the Corazal District. Love News got the details of the event from National Secretary Gwen Nunez Gonzalez, who said registration will take place on Friday and then the meeting proper starts on Saturday. At 9 o'clock, we have the official opening ceremony, and I've been tasked to be the guest speaker for that event. We then go into a business meeting. Um, we also have workshops. We have workshops on health issues and, and health care. We have about Gaifana spirituality and um, Gaifana history in terms of the exile and how we are today. We also will have a session on the bylaws of the National Gaifana Council as we see fit to ensure that we have the members understand what the council is all about. Uh, additionally, we talk about Gaifana spirituality because we also see it important for everybody to understand what Gaifana spirituality is all about especially in light of what happened recently. On Sunday, we continue with uh, our service in the morning, and that is also a very special time this year, because we have the election of officers who will be tasked to look after the affairs of NDC for the next two years. In that time as well, we go over resolution. There are some decisions that I made from last year, we review those. I will also select the theme for Gaifuna Settlement Day for 2016. Nunez Gonzalez said at the end of the convention there will be a number of issues that participants will be tasked with. The convention is the highest body of the National Gaifuna Council. So during the convention, resolutions are made other decisions are made that the board of directors must carry through um, for uh, a, a period of time. So when we're finished from the convention, hopefully we'll have gotten resolutions that we have to follow through and whatever decisions um, in terms of policies that we need to follow through with and that the board would um, be tasked to do that. And the, the board comprises um, the heads of the different branches and people who are corrupted First, we have um, lifetime members, members who began the, the, the movement. So th these heads of um, branches, the president and vice president, would need to go back to their branches and carry out the directives of the convention. It is expected that more than 200 individuals will be a part of this event.